Looks like I tore the uh, drag link out of the tie rod. I think I can fix that here in the field though. Well guys, I just did that uh, little mini golf course run and uh, I'm just gonna go hit some more rocks, but I'm noticing here, look, the amount of play just in the top shaft of that servo. That side to side movement there is just, just that top shaft wiggling in the case. So I'm positive that this servo is just not going to last. I'll be lucky if I get through the uh, rest of the crawling I wanna do today. Well guys, we had a uh, hard weekend running the truck while I was uh, down on vacation in the Lake of the Ozarks. And what I've decided to do for this week is replace the steering linkage. Now, you saw in the video earlier that I ripped the uh, drag link out of the tie rod. It was an easy fix. I put a longer machine thread three millimeter screw in there and it held just fine. However, the steering is just so sloppy. The wheels are moving independently of each other, which is pretty noticeable in the video and off jumps and things like that. You can see just each tire going its own way and you just, it doesn't feel solid and stable up front. Now, what I know is going to happen is as soon as I change the steering linkage, I'm gonna take out that servo. You also saw earlier in the video how sloppy that servo is getting. I know it's coming, I know it's inevitable, and if I was trying to limp this servo along as far as I possibly could, these pieces would just absolutely definitely stay because I know they're saving that servo. But I know it's gonna go, I know I gotta take it out and get something better in there, so this week I'm gonna take the first step into uh, making the steering feel better, and that is going to be by replacing these, uh, these plastic steering linkages with some titanium pieces from Vanquish. What I've got here is the remains of that Vanquish 10 piece link kit that I talked about last week when I did the lower uh, lower links. Now again just like last week uh, I'm not going to install the other pieces from the kit which are the upper links which are remaining. Um, I'm going to do this I'm sticking to my $50 a week budget but again if you can afford it right, you know, all at once, buy the 10 piece kit and save yourself a little bit of money. It's like 25 bucks you save. So if you can do that, get it all at once. Uh, if you can't, little bit by little bit, that's that's how you have to do it and, and that's just fine. So, uh, and as far as all my prices go, I'm using the prices as if I was doing it piece by piece. So uh, keep that in mind as well. We'd be on the same path. Anyway, so the 316th, tie rod and the 316th drag link are going to go on here now. Got the tie rod and drag link installed here. Now, one thing you'll notice a little uh, setup tip is when you just install that tie rod normally, you'll see that it, it can flop around a lot. A little uh, tip to keep that thing out of the way is uh, grab the one of the rod ends with a pair of pliers and hold it all the way rotated down and then rotate that arm up and now your rod end will only allow it to go down so far and you can do that on the other side as well to allow it to still have some give, but it will sit in the resting position much higher and out of the way. So just a, just a little setup tip. I know that we've uh, probably sealed the fate of that servo for next week, but we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll keep running it and I'll keep shooting video and we'll see how this thing ends up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check back every Thursday for updates on this project. We will see you guys next time.